Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Patman here and in today's video we are going to be talking about what I want to see from Halo Infinite at E3 2019. Now supposedly what they're going to show us is going to absolutely blow our minds and I cannot wait. But it has to start with gameplay. If it's a CGI trailer, that's not going to blow our minds. We need to see actual gameplay of the game running and it's probably going to be campaign and I really want to see the direction that they're going with. Now we know for a fact that Halo Infinite is actually a spiritual reboot of the series even though it's taking place after Halo 5 story-wise. So so show us what you've changed with the gameplay in the campaign. Are the rumors true that it could be an open world game? I actually kind of hope so. I don't want it to be a full-blown open world game, but I want it to have some light RPG elements. Let us find some stuff to upgrade our weapons, you know, different attachments, different things like that. Maybe different abilities for Chief. A lot of exploration, that's kind of what made the original Halo so great. Just drop us on the ring, drop us on Zeta Halo, let us explore, let us find some really cool secrets and stuff and give us a sense of scale and exploration. And for the love of God, please bring the Brutes and the Flood back. There's already been hints at the Flood and then Halo Wars 2 hinted that maybe there will be a continuation into Halo Infinite with a conflict with the Brutes and Atriox. That would be really cool. Just either get rid of the Prometheans or totally redesign them and their AI because they are so annoying. It's never been more apparent to me. I've been going back and playing Halo 4. Halo 5 was a little bit better with the Prometheans, but still not a fun enemy. I think Metro Exodus would be a really good template for Halo to follow. See, Metro Exodus had some really big open areas, but it wasn't a full-blown open world. It wasn't seamless open worlds. It was big areas where you could explore, find upgrades and things like that. But then after certain actions or after certain areas, you would still unlock cutscenes and experience that story. And with most open world games, gameplay and the world are what brings you to those games. And story kind of takes a back seat. Now with Exodus, it was different. You know, you still had open world and, and RPG elements. However, you still had a story and that's what I want with Halo Infinite. We really need that great story to get that bad taste of Halo 5 out of our mouths. And the reason why gameplay is just so important is because it will really show what the developers were able to come up with with that new slip space engine. That's the most exciting part to me is to see the creativity that they were able to come up with. Now, I don't know if they'll really show multiplayer. I think that might keep that close to their chest and wait for a later date for that. However, if they do show multiplayer, what they need to show is how it's changed. If we're carrying over that advanced mobility from Halo 5, or are they going to appease to the fans like they did with the art style and go back to classic Halo? Now, there is actually a divide within the community. Some people actually prefer the advanced mobility Halos. I don't care either way, honestly. I love Halo. I don't think there's a bad Halo game out there, and I enjoy them all. I do prefer the original trilogy though. However, I still think there's aspects of 343's Halos that should make it into the future of Halo. You can't just remake Halo 3 or Halo 2 and then wrap it up as a new game. There has to be some sort of innovation, and that's 343's job, is to innovate. So I'm really excited to see what they come up with. I'm not going to pretend to know how they're going to do that. It seems impossible, it really is impossible to please everybody, but I am interested in seeing what 343 is going to say about that. Now if they do talk multiplayer, I really would like to see them announce a multiplayer beta coming later this year towards the holiday season. Halo 5 had a beta a year before the game came out, and 343 has stated multiple times how much they value valued that feedback of having the beta that far out. So I expect them to do that again, especially how they've treated MCC and the flighting program. I do expect them to say something about Reach and PC and all that stuff about MCC at some point, but this video is going to be about Halo Infinite. Now I do have a couple ideas and we're about to get into that, but first I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what you want to see from Halo Infinite at E3 2019. All right, so this section of video is actually going to be what I want to see from the base game itself when the game launches. So of course, first and foremost, I want a great story, something I'm invested in. But I also want a great campaign with great gameplay that I can go back and play. Halo 5, I didn't really play that much. I went and got my achievements and then I didn't really replay that campaign. Halo 3, I beat countless times. Same thing with Halo 2. I enjoy beating that trilogy over and over and over again. So I want a really replayable campaign. And then as far as Reach style customization goes, we know that's confirmed already, but to what extent? I really want to see things like armor effects. That was really cool. Things to grind for. With out loot boxes 343 things to earn in game like the good old halos like reach like three where if you got all the achievements you got a katana stuff like that make you value customization not getting it out of a freaking loot box those were visual identifiers that player plays a lot of halo don't mess with that person because they got the katana on their back things like that were cool and then i want to see a lot of playlists at launch halo 5 only had eight playlists at launch and that's just simply unacceptable i will say post-launch halo 5 had great support but things like griff ball and 
infection oddball were all missing at launch and that's just unacceptable i would also love to see things like invasion and ricochet return because those are really fun game modes especially invasion that was one of my favorite halo game modes ever all right so we're probably going to see some sort of evolution of warzone and i wasn't a big fan of warzone honestly i actually tend to lean towards the competitive side of halo i enjoyed halo 5's arena however when i didn't want to get sweaty and and pretend i'm an mlg pro there wasn't really much that drew me to the casual side of halo 5 there wasn't much there even big team battle something that i thought was much better executed and got a lot more love in halo 4 was pretty neglected in halo 5 until just recently four years later where they did a big team battle refresh but that's the thing you need to appeal to both sides of the fan base people love casual halo people some people love competitive halo you have to appeal to both halo is a competitive game by nature but that was never something that bungie intended that wasn't something the developer intended it just happened because of the community in halo 5 that was 343's focus was to make it more competitive because halo 4 was not a competitive game it didn't it wasn't an arena style shooter however they neglected the casual side and that's just as important as the competitive side of halo now there is a divide between the community between armor abilities spartan ability sprint things like that and here's my idea let's do an arena playlist where it's really small maps like old school Halo, no sprint, no thrusting, no Spartan charging, any of that. And then in Warzone or your casual playlist, when you have your big scope playlist, okay, allow sprinting. You got bigger maps, so that would allow for advanced mobility. And that gives players an option to choose what they want to play. And then Griffball, things like that, don't really need sprint or ability. So take those out for the people who don't like those abilities and want to play a couple casual playlists. You could appeal to them as well. And of course, we need a good theater mode and a good forge mode. Now, I can't remember the last time I used theater is probably Halo Reach, honestly. They've been kind of underwhelming in the last couple Halo games. Now, I can't really speak on Forge. I don't, I'm not that creative. I am not good at making maps or anything like that, so I don't use Forge. But I hear some people aren't too happy with it. I think they've added a lot of really good features for Forge, but we need a good map like Forge World to come back. Just a big palette for people to let their creativity run wild. And I'd also really like to see some sort of scripting for AI so we could really take custom games and custom matches to the next level. And of course, server browser, things like that things that people have been requesting and that have been added to things like MCC and Halo 5. Love to have that at launch. And finally, something I actually think they will definitely deliver on because we've seen it at MCC is like community inspired events. Things like Yap Yap's Rebellion and the Flood event changed the main menu of MCC, which is really cool. And then on top of that, we had community tasks where if we completed it, we would get nameplates, things like that. We would get rewards. And what that does is creates longevity for your game. Keeps players coming back, keeps them invested. I'm a sucker for stuff like that. I love cool rewards. That and customization are two things that really make a player want to earn stuff in a game, makes them want to come back and keep playing your game. Deliver on a great launch title and just like Halo 5, deliver afterwards post-launch and you got yourselves a winner, 343. So those are the things that I want to see from Halo Infinite itself at launch and at E3 2019. Comment down below, let me know what you guys want and please leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Share it with your homies, anybody who's a Halo fan, let them know about the channel. The support has been tremendous lately and I really appreciate it guys. And if any new news comes out on Halo Infinite, you know I got you covered. And until next time, Peace out.